Hi YouTube, it's Pistachio133, and I'm with Mickey and Roxy, and Roxy's being very silly. <laughs> She's just standing on me. Um, she wants Mickey's treats. That's not gonna happen, Roxy. It's not gonna happen. Um, because I'm going to show you Mickey's. I think somebody's leaving a package. I don't know. I'm going to, Rax, stop leaving the camera. I'm sorry. I'm going to show you Mickey's um, awesome trick. Uh, so she will go towards this bell for a treat. So we'll wrap it. See? Here's the bell. Good Mickey! Good Mickey! Come here. Do you want, my, do you want the lettuce or not? Fine then. No lettuce. Okay. Because I don't want Rax shipping this camera over, I'm going to put it in Mickey's cage. I have no clue if you can see us or not, but Roxy's being very silly. Huh? You're not, you had your treat, you silly. Yes, you did. Roxy thinks she's starving to death, and so does Mickey now. <sighs> These two have a very close bond, and I think it's adorable, see? Very close bond. And it's amazing because that's a guinea pig. And that's a dog bred to hunt small animals. And Roxy will literally be motherly to Mickey. It's adorable. And so I think um, Mickey thinks she's a dog. <laughs> I think that's really funny that she thinks she's a dog. Yes, you're a dog too. And Roxy's being very cute. She's saying, why aren't you giving me attention? I want the spotlight. Oh, Mickey, she's happy to be out. I just can't let her out of this cage, maybe. Two ledges. Two thingies. Very handy. I need something to hold this up. Find them. Come on. Mickey. Mickey. Come on. See the bell? Come on. And there's Roxy being a camera hog. Hi, Roxy. Are you being a camera hog? Ow, she's standing on me. Standing on me. This is what happens when I have a guinea pig and a dog. Nobody's up there. She's clearly excited. Clearly. Sheesh. Come on, Mickey. Come on. Not for you, Roxy. See, not for you. Yeah, I know. You don't like this. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Iggy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Mmm, lettuce. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Oh. Come on. You can do it. And of course, you found me. Oh great, I'm going to be assaulted by two two animals soon. There, Mickey's out. And I'm going to be relatively crazy. So I'm going to keep her in this area because she is fast. Hmm? Are you fast? Ow. Just poked myself. Yeah, sorry, this is going to be a bunch of randomness at the moment though. She's going to leave. Hey, she didn't... She only went over here, so that's good. Yes, we moved her to a bigger cage because she is a year old. Um, her birthday was sometime in January. We don't exactly know when. Oh, poor Roxy. Am I neglecting you? I'm sorry. Roxy came here too, but she can leave anytime she wants. Hi there, Zoomy. You going high under me? Hi. Not for you, you silly dog. Here, you want in? I'm sorry, I'm being... Ah, not for you. Not for you. It's for the piggy. See, I'm being assaulted by... Stop eating her lettuce. <laughs> Did you give the piggy her lettuce? <laughs> yeah, I think this is hilarious. Because this is my life, basically, every day. I have a psychotic puppy and a psychotic piggy, and you're not getting over my leg. Here, you want more? 
Not for you. See, not for you. You don't even like it. You're giving it. Oh my god. I think she's giving it to Mickey. Okay, that's adorable. Here, can you give this to Mickey? No? Is it bad? You don't want Mickey to have that? Okay. Gonna give this one to Mickey? Because Mickey's gonna eat it. Mmm, yummy. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is... I have a crazy life, as you guys can see. I have a psychotic puppy who probably wants a carrot. Because I have them. But this is not a carrot. Stop eating that! It's okay, Mickey. Stop being wild pig. Stop being wild pig. Wild pig is bad. Wild pig is bad. Can I pet you? Good girl. You're not wild pig anymore. Let's find a carrot. Hmm? Yeah, get your face out of my face. Here, carrot. Don't have any more. Yes, do in here. going to be a mess <laughs> Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. This is crazy. But look at that. Two animals eating together. That would be common enemies. And Mickey does not really like carrots. <laughs> She's going to push the lettuce on her. See, isn't that adorable? How much they care for each other. Well, at least Mitch, Mickey cares for Roxy a lot. Look, more carrots. More carrots. Roxy loves carrots. More carrots. Can you keep track of Mickey? I need to get you some more carrots. I know what you're thinking, isn't this cruel to confine these two guinea pigs? <laughs> I call Roxy guinea pigs all the time. But I know what you're thinking, isn't it cruel to confine a dog to one corner of the house? Technically she's not, com um, um, whatever, confined. She can get over that. She can't get through that though. But that's just to keep Mickey from running over there and getting under the couch. Because they're both, both guinea pigs. Oh my god, did that again. Um, both, both animals are having a feast. <laughs> I think they got what they wanted. I was going to show you tricks with Mickey, like all the cool tricks, but Roxy insisted on coming, and she just would keep getting in the way. So, wee fun. I have a bunch of crazy pets. There's still more carrots in here, Roxy. See, more carrots. Mickey! Are you a happy pig? And a happy dog? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just rambling, but you guys should just watch more of this cuteness. She's being her famous fluffy self, and she's being her carrot hog. We have another guinea pig, but I have a feeling that um, the other guinea pig, Cloudy, would probably bite the ankles off of Roxy. She's not very social. Well, she would hide under the piano. But these two are adorable together. Oh my god, we need the same bowl again.
And yeah, dogs aren't supposed to have lettuce, but I'm just watching her, making sure she actually doesn't eat any of the lettuce, or at least, um, too much of, yeah. They're going to be cute. Oh my god, did she just give it to her? That was adorable. Did you see that? Roxy just gave Mickey the bow. Mickey's just like, I like you, friend. Okay, well, that's it. I'm going to have a huge mess to clean up. Say bye, Mickey. She's eating. Say bye, Roxy. Did you say bye? Okay. Okay, well, I took out Cloudy, and for the sake of everybody, she's now in that small cage, and Mickey is terrified of her. Because guinea pig, dog. Guinea pig, dog. <laughs> and she's so she's hiding in my feet. But that's why Cloudy's behind bars. <laughs> They're gonna be friendly again. They're going to be funny. Oh, and Rax is in the way. Hi, Raxy. What are you? Oh. See, Mickey's found her favorite spot by my toes, and she's trying to leave. You're not leaving. Silly pig's not leaving. So Roxy left to sort it out. <laughs> Mickey being her friendly self, don't go over there. You silly pig. Silly pig, be nice. I know, I know, is that another pig? Oh no, another pig! Another pig! Who's eating your lettuce? Sheesh. Mickey! Mickey! Have you eaten your fill? Yeah, and Rex is gonna want to eat it. No? Hi! Oh my god, that's so cute! I know, Mickey, you want to say hi to her. You're not going over there! I know, I know, I'm so f unfair. I know, are you saying, you're so unfair, you're so unfair. And Rax is watching the chaos. Stop going over there. No, bad, bad Mickey. See, see, this is why I don't let Mickey out very often. Because she goes crazy. And right now she's laughing at me because I took her out. And Cloudy's eating. And Rax is watching the may mayhem. Okay, nope, 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 nope. Why do you like it over there? Does it smell like Raxy? Do you like it because it smells like Roxy? Nope, 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 nope. Don't go over there, you silly pig. Stay on my legs or stay where I can see you. Hmm? So, yeah, bye. Okay. It's Pistachio 133, of course, like I'll say, I'll say later. Um, and I'm with my three guinea pigs. She actually okay. I've, I'm sorry. I, I thought I would put this at the beginning, but then I realized I have Cloudy out, so I'm going to just say. But I know I forgot to say their breeds. Mickey is an American guinea pig. She's an albino. She's about one years old. She was born in January of last year, and she used to be a class class pet. Um, my class actually, and then we got her, and because. She w because, like, we got her because the class wasn't taking care of her, so I brought her home, and um, so and she was in the smaller cage that Cloudy what is in now, not not this cage, this that's her cage. Um, <coughs> she's psychotic, um, absolutely psychotic. She loves to popcorn, and she's going to be funny. Well, come on, stop it, stop it. Stop it. I have no clue what they're doing. Um, I, Cloudy, Mickey is very bold and will go anywhere and do anything. Um, a few days ago she even jumped out of my dad's arms and fell into her cage. She was not hurt, thankfully. But um, I'm giving Cloudy some more lettuce because Cloudy's old. Um, and she, she reminds me of, oh, her favorite spot in between my legs. I don't know why she likes that. Um, and she is, she reminds me of Brownie. We never, I might have a picture of her, I'm not sure. Um, 
but they were the same breeds, but Brownie was brown. Actually, uh, so don't, don't go over there. Um, so she's going to be spastic. She's a handful. Uh, that's all I can say. And she's literally a handful. Uh, Roxy, come here. Is my American Eskimo Shiba Inu mix. She is about six. We got her from the shelter two years ago. Well, about two years ago. Um. Oh, stop it. Knock it off. Don't fight each other. Um. And she is a very sweet dog. And <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I know. I know. Is Mickey checking you out? And she is actually either really motherly or really, really scared of Cloudy, Mickey, I mean. And Mickey will, um, be, um, um, like a puppy. I don't, we don't think, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Come on, come on, break it up. Come here, you. <laughs> Easy situation if they're getting mad at each other. Just take one. Um. Oh my god. She is a carrotaholic. She will eat any carrots. I had a bowl out for the guinea pigs full of carrots and lettuce. And she ate all the carrots. And left no carrots for the guinea pigs. So I had to get them more carrots, which then she ate. Um. And she was very. That was very funny. Stop it, you guys. Um. She's a she's very funny and she is Mickey's best friend. So says Mickey. <laughs> it's really cute. Mickey thinks that they are best friends and Roxy thinks that she's crazy. And then our oldest guinea pig, Cloudy, knock it off. I really don't want them interacting because every single time they interact, Cloudy tries to be dominant and um she actually hurt Brownie when we first brought her home. She was we, we brought her home like as a pup, and don't don't get in there. And you can leave. I'm I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted. Um, because she was replacing our other guinea pig. Hi. And that that died. And Brownie was being lonely. Hi. Can I pet you? Thank you. And um, and so a few years passed, and she actually ripped a hole in our guinea pig's ear. Uh, but they were still friendly. I know, wheat, 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 wheat. Roxy is very interested in what M Mickey is saying. Um, she's just become really antisocial. She really does not like people petting her or other animal or other guinea pigs. She just wants to be the boss. So that's why she's in the cage because I don't want her hurting Mickey like she hurt Brownie. Um, Mickey's being comfortable <laughs> and eating my pants. Oh, that tickles. Um, um, so, uh, and so I'm by my front door, so there's a lot of interesting smells for Roxy. She is about five to six years old, which is really old for a guinea pig. Um, don't, don't, uh, actually you can leave. I just thought you were going to run off. I'm sorry, Mickey. I'm sorry. Um, she's going to be very weird. Come on, Mickey, come on. They're, they're gonna be weird together. Come on, you guys, knock it off. Weird. Weird. I have no clue. Um, yeah. Um, so this is my... Not mine. This is my brother's. I'm sorry, did I hurt you? Did I hurt you? No, no, you're acting just fine. Okay. She's very sluggish. Um, she is a silky. I believe that's her breed. We keep her hair short, and she's a very beautiful color. She's like brown and gray. And we got her, she was like so poofy. So cute. Um, and she was hand size, like I could hold her in my hand. I can still do that with Mickey. I have no clue if Mickey's going to be overgrown or not, because our last guinea pig, Brownie, was. But then, yeah. But I can still hold Mickey in my hands. She's adorable. And, and I have no clue why, but her nails are really, really sharp any time. So you kind of don't want to hold her. She's, she's, she's kind of, um, a putz. <laughs> she is. Ah, <laughs> oh, Rax is being bored. Ah, that hurts. She's now licking my feet. And Rax is being bored. Rax, are you bored? Am I stop, did I stop giving you attention? Okay, well, I'm going to have to cut off me.
stop eating my pants and get back to some